guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm back with a foundation review and I'm going to be showing you application, how it wears throughout the day, how it looks in natural light, flash photo, all that good stuff. And I got a lot of requests when this launched to review the Clinique Egg Foundation, which rightfully so, it's got an eggy vibe, super, super cute. Uh, this is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 25. So as always, I will have timestamps below if you'd like to skip ahead and be sure to subscribe, but let's go ahead and get started. So if you're not familiar with this foundation, it launched a little while back from Clinique and it's meant to be kind of this foundation serum skincare hybrid, which I think is really cool, something that brands are doing. It's a great added bonus. Uh, so in here they have hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to help visibly plump the skin for a more hydrated and dewy look. I love hyaluronic acid, great on damp skin. Salicylic acid, which I love as somebody who has a more um, acne prone and oilier skin type right now. I'm, I'm honestly a little bit more normal, but I'm still acne prone. Um, that helps to visibly retexturize and restore radiance in the skin it gets a little deeper and vitamin c which i love to help brighten along with up302 that's actually clinique clinique's like super high-tech kind of serum technology um that helps with just overall discoloration and things like that so i think that's super cool allergy tested 100 fragrance free weightless and buildable to full coverage i'm going to be wearing the shade uh, wn94 deep neutral and this is a really great match for me previously in some clinique foundations um, i found them to be a little bit more pink undertone but this is definitely more of a neutral which i am i'm like this golden peachy neutral is how i describe my skin and this is a really uh great match for me there's 34 shades of this foundation comes in a glass bottle so you can see your shade and if you go to a counter or Sephora they'll be able to help match you and give you a sample if they're doing that again uh, and uh, there are 34 shades in Canada and I believe there's even more in the US um, that I saw on the Sephora website and you get a nice little pump there which I always appreciate so let me go ahead and get this on my face so I'm gonna take out one pump there on the back of my hand uh, and it says as I mentioned it has um, buildable to full coverage it markets itself as being kind of like a natural matte uh, and wears all day medium to full liquid coverage 24 hours wear visibly improves skin immediately because like duh it's a foundation <laughs> um, but then also over time um, it's meant to help with scarring discoloration good for skin ingredients dark spot fighting yeah so the up302 it's clinique's exclusive dark spot fighting molecule They've been at this a while. So I'm just gonna use one pump on my face. I'm definitely uh, get really good coverage that way. And this is not like a first impression. I've been testing this out for a little while. It's a little behind on foundation reviews as always, like what's new, um, but blends out really, really easily. It also has um, recyclable packaging, which I think is cool. I didn't even bring over a mirror. Oops, just dove into filming. Maybe I should look at myself. But it blends out really nicely and this is a good shade for me i have a bit of a tan right now but i think this is the shade i would wear i just I, I get a lot of questions all the time about my summer and winter shades i don't i don't really have any foundations i think that i have a summer and winter shade in i just i change my foundation so often and i just end up then just kind of making it work or not reaching for that foundation um, if it's not going to be suitable at that time if I only wore one foundation, then I'd probably do that. This is the kind of foundation that also, um, although it says it's medium to full, with just one pump, I got beautiful coverage there, and I feel like I can wear it on its own. Like, I don't need to put concealer or anything over this. Because it's a good shade match, and it lets my skin show, show through. And yeah, historically, I don't know if they've improved their shades, or I just never put enough time into finding it, but. Historically, I just felt like my shade wasn't really there. The undertone was like my shade was there, but the undertone was off. But this one is a really good match. So I want to revisit actually their other foundations and try this shade. Like remember that one that they had with the big doe foot? Also Clinique, like while I have this in front of me, I've had this bag and I travel with it um, 20 years, 15 plus years. Clinique gift with purchase, iconic. So as you can see, really nice natural coverage. I think if you have dry skin, you may not even want to powder this. I'm definitely gonna powder, but there's still a little bit of sheen to my skin, but it's got like a nice um, natural skin-like finish. Probably medium-ish, my skin is definitely showing through. I'm gonna put a powder and concealer over this, but I really like using it just with one pump. I can absolutely uh, get the coverage that I really like, but you can build it up a little bit more or even kind of 
spot treat other parts of your face. If you have a drier skin type, I feel like you may not want to powder this or you may be able to get away with it. I don't ever do that no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some concealer powder. I will take photos so that I can show you how it looks in flash photo, especially where it has that SPF in there. And I will be right back. Okay, I have the rest of my makeup on now and I think you can see it looks really natural. Uh, I put on the Pat McGrath loose powder over it. Um, so just a really, really light powder. I don't feel like I needed anything mattifying. I didn't feel like I needed to add any coverage with the powder foundation. Um, and I thought it looked really really good in photos especially considering that SPF so here in my studio lighting it looks good you can see there's a natural sheen to my skin but what should be noted is in flash photo I'm not getting major flashback and you get that sometimes with foundations that um, don't even have SPF in them and that's also partially due to the fact that I have one pump on my face my natural skin is showing through and that's gonna definitely help you if you have a product with SPF in there I can't speak to if you had it on like super full coverage how it would perform but that's with no powder no concealer or anything just the foundation um, and taken in a dark room I go into my bathroom and take a flash photo so I was uh, pretty pleased with how it performed there so I'm gonna go ahead now and wear this makeup for a few hours and I will check back with you uh, midday in some natural light coming to you with a midday check-in I've had the foundation on for quite a few hours now and I've been touching my face a lot which is such a faux pas, but I have been doing it. I have been having some technical difficulties today. So a little bit of frustration. We can see my blush bronzer and everything is still in place. I think I've lost a little coverage around my nose here, which is not uncommon for me, but otherwise things look really good. I spent some time on my patio in the sun, but I didn't get uh, super sweaty or have anything move around. So I will check back with you at the end of the evening. Okay, it is the end of the day for me and I think you can see things held up really well. I noticed in looking back at the footage from midday that this side of my face has held up a little bit better than this side and I think I have just touched the side and I've lost a little of my blush, but the foundation still looks good. Like I said, I did lose a little coverage here, but things still look and feel really good. I think that this is a great foundation for the majority of skin types. It has good versatility in terms of coverage from you know, medium to, I haven't honestly built it all the way up to full, but it does feel very buildable, but I really, really like this level of coverage that I get from just one pump, but I've done two as well. I think the shade match looks really good and has an oxidized, if you have a drier skin type, you'll be able to use this without powder, I believe. Oilier skin type, um, although I'm not oily right now, it does really sit nicely on the skin. On the Sephora website, it's listed as being matte. I believe on the Clinique website they say more of a natural matte, but of course I used a powder over it and that helped keep things in place. You can always use a setting spray. I didn't use one today, but I think it held up really, really good and it's a solid foundation from Clinique. And number one for me, I was able to get a good shade match, which <laughs> um, I wasn't really sure of my shade before. So now I finally know my Clinique shade and I definitely wanna try out some more of their foundations. And I really like that it has some of the skincare ingredients in there. So overall, a really kind of solid foundation and what I would expect from Clinique. So really glad they didn't let me down here. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you would like to try this foundation and what you would like to see me review next. As always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.